So this is a review for Doctor Who Season 3, Episode 1. The first episode that we meet Martha Jones. Even though she's in the Canary Wolf Battle episodes, but it's not Martha. They explain it's her sister, I believe. I still don't fucking like it. I don't fucking like it. And I think that's one of the main reasons I have such a negative connotation with this fucking character. And also her love obsession with the Doctor. Martha was probably one of my least favorite companions. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying, out of the new seasons that I'm reviewing, like Doctors 9 and on, I fucking hate Jodie Whittaker and I hate Peter Capaldi. I have not watched the new one yet, but we'll get there. Um, I fucking hate them. Peter Capaldi's, I watched the first season and he irked my soul. He fucking irked my soul. Something about him just screamed, that's not my doctor. And then Jodie Whittaker, I could not get into. Like, I tried watching the first episode with her in it, and I just was so fucking bored. And then I saw a few clips of her, and I was just like, eh, this is not my doctor either. <laughs> um, so anyway, back to Martha Jones. Martha Jones was love-struck fucking puppy towards the doctor, and it irked my fucking soul. So, first episode, Smith and Jones. When medical student Martha Jones meets a mysterious stranger called the doctor and finds herself transported to the moon... Her life will never be the same again. So, hold on, pregnant, gotta drink lots of water. Blah, 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 blah. So, she, it's a medical student who meets a man named the doctor. At first, he randomly gives her a tie on the street, just random as shit. Then she gets into the hospital and she sees him in a bed. And apparently he's been there all night. She's like, it's not possible because he just gave me a tie outside and yeah. So, out of nowhere, it starts to storm, and they see, she notices that the storm is going backwards, so it's actually raining upward, which is weird enough, but the hospital was transported to the fucking moon, where these guards, I can't think of their name, but they're like giant rhinos, are looking for a monster that killed a princess, I believe, and the monster turns out to be an old lady who, like, sucks the blood from people. And the doctor sacrifices... I'm doing a quick synopsis of this episode. The doctor sacrifices himself to this old lady. So his blood will prove that she's an alien. When they do a rescan. And he does. She gets caught. Blah, blah, blah. And the, the way he did this, though. why The way he knew that he was going to sacrifice himself was he kissed Martha Jones. And he gave her, like... I don't know time lord energy and then when she does mouth to mouth and brings him back he comes back this was a good episode for our first introduction to a new companion but i don't like martha jones so most of this season i did not watch or i did not like like i watched the first round and on my second rewatch but when i go back to rewatch the show again i skip martha jones but that's just my opinion i also skip mickey not mickey um, the fuck is his name? I was thinking of a different show. Never mind. My brain, it's not working. But yeah, I, I don't know why. It's, I think it's mainly because she has like a love struck obsession with him. Yes, Rose Tyler was in love with the doctor. There's no way she wasn't. But they made their romance different. They made it mutual. They made it like... Starcross lovers. But for Martha, they made her a lovesick, lovesick puppy and the doctor just completely stupid. And for my, in my opinion, that was so disrespectful to the character and the character in general just seemed so unlikable because of it. She was a good character. She had a great heart. She, like, she was a good companion. But because every episode, every fucking episode seemed to make her a love-struck puppy towards the doctor, it was just like, give it a break. Give it a break. There were some episodes in Matt Smith's season where it looked like Amy was, like, crushing on the Doctor, especially in the very first episode, but I never, like, saw it go past one or two episodes. And then when she finally got married to Rory, it was like, okay, yeah. It was just a little crush, and it was over. But for some reason, in my opinion, they made Martha, not, yeah, Martha just so obsessed with him, and it was weird to me. But anyway, what are your thoughts on Season 3, Episode 1, Smith and Jones? Comment, like, subscribe, and let me know what you think.